Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! The government has promised an additional £400 million to help supply faster broadband to more than half a million homes, after the watchdog found 1.4 million households don't have good enough access to meet the most basic digital needs. Our political correspondent Michael Crick is in Westminster now. Michael. Well, John, the, uh, the government's strategy over faster broadband is uh, while they invest more money through the telecommunications company, the co companies, the agreement is that those companies pay back money to the government when they sign up businesses and individuals. And so in, make, in making this announcement of an extra £440 million today, Karen Bradley also announced she was getting back more than £290 million from British Telecom. She did a round of media interviews and it was Channel 4 News's first interview with her since she took the job uh, in July. So I took the opportunity to ask her about a couple of other controversial topics. Uh, notably, uh, our reports into uh, JD Sports, uh, which we uh, went on, uh, led with the programme on, of course, tonight, but also uh, the decision that Karen Bradley took um, a few days ago not to appoint uh, Althea Effenshile, a black woman who is the uh, former uh, Deputy Chief Executive of the Arts Council, not to appoint her to the board of Channel 4 after Ofcom had nominated five people for four possible places and chose four white men. But in our interview, I began with broadband. The government has done a programme through Broadband Delivery UK from my department to give four and a half million premises, that's homes and businesses, access to super fast broadband. And of those four and a half million, one and a half million have taken up the opportunity of super fast broadband. So that take up level, which is at 30% higher than 20%, than which was the minimum we were expecting, means that we get what's called a gain share. So this is money coming back from uh, the providers to local authorities so that they can roll out super fast broadband to harder to reach rural areas. That's 440 million pounds, 600,000 homes and businesses that will have access to super fast broadband who don't today. I don't know if you've seen our series on JD Sports. Your colleagues in the DWP have said that uh, JD, JD Sports jobs will no longer be advertised in their uh, job centres, but do you think that sporting organisations, local football associations and so on, should still be holding contracts with JD Sports? Do you think the time has come for a wider boycott? Well, I'm afraid I haven't seen the particulars of, uh, of, of what you're talking about, so I don't think it's appropriate for me to comment till I've uh, looked at this in detail. Well, the Secretary of State, who has a responsibility for sport, is not aware of the, the working conditions that we've exposed in JD Sports, which of course uh, follows exposés of, of working conditions in Sports Direct. Look, I think, you know, this is a matter for the Department of Work and Pensions and Business, Energy and Industrial Strategy. Uh, this is about working conditions and, as I say, I, I don't wish to comment without having further information. Why did you reject Althea Afonchile, a black woman, as a member of the Channel 4 board? There were four appointments that Ofcom, uh, that Channel 4 uh, advertised, that Ofcom advertised, and we appointed the four best people for those appointments. But doesn't it look bad if there is if you don't appoint a black woman to the board. I mean, after all, Channel 4 is meant to cater for people with minority interests and, and, and ethnic minorities and disabled people and so on. In the first two quarters of this year, uh, my department has made uh, appointments of which 50% have been women and 18% have been black and, and uh, minority ethnic. I'm very proud that we are achieving that level of, uh, of appointment diversity, but I don't believe we should have tokenism. I think what we need to have is the best person for the job, but I am working hard to make sure that more uh, people from ethnic backgrounds and more women apply for these roles because we do want to get the right people into the roles uh, and make sure that there is diversity across the board. But surely it looks bad when you've appointed four white people to the Channel 4 board but not a black person. There were four jobs that were advertised, there were very specific job specifications and we appointed the four best candidates, most appropriate, most fitting candidates for those jobs. Karen Bradley, the Culture Secretary responsible for media, sport and much else. I've been getting away with it all.